Alright, welcome to game 5 from the Viper Jordan Chris Doubt Clash. It's been quite good so far, and we are standing at 2 all for the game, best of 6. So if anybody's going to win this, they need to take the next two games. I have not seen them, so I'm very interested to see how they go. And like I've said, a draw is always possible. However, I would like to see someone win it, because it's been an extremely good game so far, but I don't know who I want to win yet. So over here, we have Doubt playing as the Huns and the Color Red. His ally being Chris over here, playing as Green and the Mines. Over here, we have the Viper, who is obviously their opposing team, playing as the Mines, the Color Yellow, and Jordan playing as Huns and the Color Blue. We've had quite a good run so far with four games out. Hopefully I'm uploading them in the right order. If I'm not, feel free to yell at me, because then you would know the scores, and that's no fun. But what can we see so far from Doubt? Looks like Doubt is getting his scouting on, putting up his first lumber camp. Continuing to scout. Looks like he's doing some sheep scouting as well. Sheep scouting, of course, not being uncommon in this stage of the game. Uncovering his gold there, gold there, and that. Again, it looks like not a night position for Doubt. Doubt hasn't had a good run in the last few games, but he's got forward gold, forward barriers on tree line, so that means he's not going to get as many villagers on them. Uh, back gold there, so not too bad. Forward stone, however, and all four trees. So, not great. Honestly, not a great position. I wouldn't like to have it. However, he does have a hill here, which could be good for defending, and what have we got here? Nearly losing his scout there. Very, very close to losing it. I would probably be hiding that for the rest of the game. <laughs> One hit and that thing will go down, especially if Jordan decides to bring his scout on. But farms coming up now for Doubt, and first boar in, so use, and second boar in coming out. Of course, being very paranoid after that boar being stolen in the last game. So, found the lumber camp there, so he knows where to get some harassment in. And continuing to just build up his economy at this stage. Already got his mill up there, already got his lumber camp up. And all these units here, getting quite a bit of exploration done. So let's have a look at everyone else's base. And Chris here hasn't done too well either. He's got a Ford gold here, but looks of it. Another gold there. He does have his main gold in the back though, so that is good. And a stone not too far away from his town centre, but a Viper is easily going to be able to harass this area. Stone though, in quite a good area. We've got the second ball coming in there by the sound of it. Yep, just came in then. But he doesn't really have a good place for wood. He's had to move quite a bit to get to that, so that means that's going to be very harassable at this point. We've got the Viper down over here putting farms up. Let's have a look at your location. Looks like he's going for a drush though. Interesting. Uh, backstone, so not too bad. Forward-ish gold, so that's not too bad. And we're cutting cutting wood at the back, naturally being the smart idea. And Jordan, let's see what you've got. You've got your wood on the side here, which isn't too bad. However, that will be harassable if you don't wall this off. How it looks like you're going for it. We've got front stone there. Another gold back here. I'm sorry, I sound a bit nasally at the moment. I've got a bit of a cold coming on, I reckon. So hopefully this will get me through the next few days if I'm out completely. But continuing to... He's got gold in a nice place here, honestly, to the side. But... Not bad, honestly. And we've got drushing going on already. So not going to be able to get in there, I wouldn't say. And we've got, looks like scouts coming out now for Jordan. Very interesting. Two lumber camps up at the moment for Chris. And Jordan coming in with some more here to play. So, looks like both players here are going scout rush. That is, that's very interesting. Very interesting play there. And what have we got? So we've got four versus two. As you can see, noticing that and running up. Chris and the Viper going up late because they've both been drushing. <laughs> and running away immediately. That, that spear going to make a world of difference in this fight. Every hit he gets off is going to count so much more. would say he's going to lose his cavalry here, but it looks like he's going to get back to his town center. Oh, looks like he's had time to get back down here and rebuild. Have we got any more spears for Doubt at the moment? No more spears by the looks of it. Putting up an archery range, though, so it's a very interesting attack there. We've got Chris walling himself in at this point, so he could be going for a fast castle. Two archery ranges up there, though, so it looks like he is going for skirmishes. Viper putting a wall up here, not walling himself completely in yet, but we do have two archery ranges. So I guess we can be expecting skirms and archers. 
And this Drush here, not paying off at all, just kind of patrolling there slowly. Obviously just wasting population. So, continuing to push in, what else do we have going on? We've got Jordan coming down here to doubt. Viper going castle already, at 17 minutes. That I did not expect that. However, he completely not walling himself in. So, we've got Chris coming down now. Just patrolling. Doesn't think he knows what to do with these yet. But Jordan coming in here, trying to get some harassment on Chris. And deleting that at the wrong time, by the way. Doesn't sound good. Oh, here we go. So Doubt is actually in, in Jordan's base right now. Losing one villager there. Looks like he's going to lose a bunch of scouts, though. Losing two scouts. Not too badly. Jordan, though, still considering... Still probably being the biggest force in the game so far, as you can tell by the scores. Oh, Viper taking over there, I don't know. But Viper being in Castle Age is definitely going to be making a difference. <laughs> being completely out manned there. So not much he's going to be able to do. And Jordan on his skirmishes and expos <laughs> backing that up. Picking good position to hold out, and honestly. But absolutely getting smashed there. And, oh no, he's on the militia. As you can see, trying to back that up there. However, these crossbows are not allowing that to happen. Putting a extra walling layer in there, very smart play. And it looks like a scout cover here. So they want to know, what is the Viper doing? And Chris's response to that is killing me. <laughs> coming in straight through here, trying to come in. However, Doubt is now going up to Castlade. Still quite a light castle age, but he has had a good play so far. Got in here, got a bit of harassment in on Jordan. However, I don't think it has paid off enough. Jordan still continuing to pump out the scouts, however. Playing as Hans, definitely a good idea to go cavalry. But we've got Viper in here with tech with his tech vantage. Doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Killing four archers there to his zero. We've got some great micro there. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna take this. He's absolutely destroying there with his micro. Very good play. I'm very impressed with that. And just watching this right now, just watching Chris slowly walk away. Alright, so it looks like everyone now has gone up to Castle Age. Looks like I am correct. So crossbows naturally being the best thing. And what have we got? We've got there from Chris, a Vils Averse upgraded crossbows, equals not good. <laughs> and out there, who wins that? Chris, not me. Got some definitely, got some good competition going on. Skirmishes versus the crossbows down here, definitely a good idea. However, this micro here is great. Look at the amount of mist there. That's, that's a great amount of mist spears and things there. Cavalry archers coming in for Jordan now. Cavalry archers, of course, are being a great unit, but of course still not strong versus skirmishes. Manganel, though, being extremely strong versus skirmishes and crossbows. And... Losing it, that Manganel, sadly. That Manganel did a lot of damage, and Jordan was very happy with it, I'd say. Cavalry archers coming around here, so going to be able to get a little bit of harassment in. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to kill anything off, though. I wouldn't say so at this point. Viper up by 500 points on Doubt, though, and we've got Chris lagging behind there on 2,500, Viper being on 3,800 now. So, as you can see, naturally it's all because Viper in here has been putting on, putting on the pressure quite a bit, honestly. Losing most of his forces there inside Chris's base, not a good thing, but naturally reinforcements always follow quite quickly. So... Um, I believe I've said it, game 5, 2 wins per purse, per team right now, so it's really going to come down to who gets the next two games. And this game so far, it's looking like the Viper and Jordan do have quite a good run at the moment, and I don't think they're really going to be able to be dislodged too easily, but hell, I said last game that it was a good game about, well, like 10 minutes in, and obviously that didn't happen. University coming up there, obviously not. Wait, Cavalry Archer coming up. Obviously that will come up. Do we have a builder running down yet? We do not. But Chris and Viper both walling their bases off. Very smart play there. 
And it looks like Viper's going for a forward base at this stage. He could even be going up. Yep, Viper's nearly in Imperial Age. So as soon as he does that, he's going to be able to absolutely spam the Eagle Warriors in. And do quite a bit of damage. I'm actually, I'm going to swap to the Viper. Watch him, because I want to watch what he's doing. Yep, creating Eagle Warriors already. And Chris should have noticed this coming through here. He should have noticed that he's going to be in trouble. Especially with all his Eagle Warriors being created. Nearly population blocking himself there. And going to Imperial. Elite Eagle Warrior being done right now. Where is your Blacksmith? Blacksmith, Blacksmith, Blacksmith. I can't see it. I bet you've gone past it. There we go. Blacksmith, plate armor being done. And where did they all go? All up here, taking out these crossbows. Eagle Warriors, of course, being an extremely strong unit to use. And here we go, sir. Running, running, running. Standing up to a lot of fire there. Especially with that 8 PS armor that we've got on. Going to be able to do a lot of damage. At this point, Chris is in a lot of trouble. Especially once these attack upgrades start to get done. Doubt coming in through here, however, doing a lot of damage to Jordan. Keeping Jordan rather cooped up in his base right now. And just basically trying to get him to come out. That's basically what he's doing. We've got lots of Eagle Warriors here, still streaming from all these barracks in this forward base up here. Mining camp coming up here. Surprised we haven't seen a siege workshop yet, though, honestly. I would, the Viper's playstyle, I would definitely expect a siege workshop to come up. But Viper now being 2,000 points. Well, 4,000 points ahead of Chris at this point, and Chris is on 3,000 points. So at this stage, it is starting to look like a good game. We do have Jordan pushing into doubt as well, though, so breaking this siege down here. Looking strapped here. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to take it, however. These Eagle Warriors might make a big difference, especially because they can soak up so much damage. And here we go. So that is doubt going into Imperial just there. However, Chris is in a lot of trouble right now. He's... Yeah, I would say this is a good game. Yep, there we go. Both players resigning. And so that puts the score to 2-3 to the Viper and Jordan their way. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll do the final game right now.